Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper IP version 6 lab number 4. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at Border Gateway Protocol Basics. So this is a simple IP version 6 lab in which we are going to set up a basic IPv6 external BGP connection. So the first thing I want to do is just show you and explain the current network topology. We have two routers, router 1 and router 2. Router 1 is in autonomous system 100. Router 2 is going to be in autonomous system 200. We have the network between R1 and R2. Before I explain anything else, I just want to let you know we're using logical systems for R1 and R2, and we're using the logical tunnel between the two logical systems. If you're not familiar with those terms, logical system or logical tunnel, I would suggest you watching the Juniper logical systems labs number one and two that are part of Juniper series one. And we are representing all of our logical tunnels with the lt-120.xx. What this means is on R1 we have simplified this just to LT.12, but that interface is really LT-120.12. And I will show you this when we walk through the configuration. We're going to build this lab from the ground up. So there is a logical tunnel between R1 and R2. There's two, I'm sorry, there's a the network between R1 and R2 is the 2001 12 12 12 double colon forward slash 64 network. R1 has the LT-120.12 logical tunnel interface. Router 2 is using the LT-120.21. There is a loopback 0 0.1 on R1 with the 2001 one 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 double colon one slash sixty four network. We are also on R two. We have a loopback zero dot two with the two thousand one two 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 double colon two forward slash sixty four network. And as you will see, we have the FE eight zero double colon one slash sixty four on both the logical tunnel and the loopback 0 0.1 on R1 and then we have FE8 0 double colon 2 slash 64 on the logical tunnel and the loopback 0 0.2 on router 2. So changing the link local IPv6 address is not required however in the other IPv6 labs uh, we see that when we start configuring our routing protocols and doing show commands for verification it helps us to more easily distinguish our neighbors.